Okay, today we're gonna to be looking at the pressure cabinet uh, and some improvements I made on that. To start off with the light, here's how much light comes out of the little fluorescent bulb that got up in there. I'm gonna put this in the stand now. Now this is what you see when you're sandblasting with that light. Hold on. Not bad. You can see it's still swirling around. It's a little dark. So what I did is I did this. So now here's the light. Here's the light that I... Two bulbs. I put uh, outlets up here. And these are LED bulbs. And there's foam stuffed in around because if the sand gets in there and it will uh you can't get the bulbs out i had to break the last bulb to get it out so that definitely helped and i have it set up over here so i got the light can go on without turning on that so you can get your stuff ready get everything in there get the light on and then turn it on now the next next thing i did well let's go here uh, again with this. This is plastic. It's clear. I got it at Tap Plastics. I don't know how thick it is, and I don't even know what it's for, but it was longer. It was this long. I cut it down, and when you cut this stuff down, you got to use, use a good razor. I used it on the lathe, but however you do it, it's got to be smooth. If there's any cuts in this, when you do what I'm going to show you here, um, it tears. So what I got is I got two nuts right here that I loosen up and now down here below here it is here's the plastic see comes down comes out and there now you have a brand new screen this stays up here it's covered and that's probably good for a few lifetimes and then you just cut this off down here when you're done uh, next, when you're sandblasting sometimes, uh, it'll clog. And when it clogs, you gotta break everything down. You gotta go down here, open up that, drain it, sift it, put it back in, middle of your project, no good, right? So what I came up with is this hose right here goes on the carburetor hose, which is your, your pickup hose that goes down, down underneath. And I ran that hose right here. And there's an end. So what I do when I got a clog is I reach in with this glove, I plug that, and then I take the gun and put it against the glove so no air can come out of the end, hit the pedal, it pumps it in, out, and it clears everything down there so you can keep going your project, and then you can sift it later. Sometimes it won't even come back up in the next five, 10 minutes. It goes really far away in there somewhere. Um, so that's nice uh, for for uh, for not taking care of your clogs and getting the work done. And it's just a hose. You got to unbolt the the steel hose from the side. You know, a couple little things, hose clamp. But that cleans that. Now the next thing I had was a little bit of a problem with humidity. So I got some of these, and I don't know if it works yet because I haven't got my humidity meter. That's coming tomorrow. But this is going to stay in here. This is big enough for a small walk-in closet. So it should be enough for this. Um, now, the next thing I did was... Here is a pressure blaster that I have. I got this from Tip Tools, T-I-P. They have all sandblasting stuff. And I plumbed it in. goes right up here. goes right up here. And goes right in here so now I have the pressure cleaner this will blow a hole through 16 inch aluminum takes about a, a 45 seconds or a minute but I was able to blow a hole through it this is very very strong and what I do is I'll keep this valve off that's the regular sand blaster and then this one down here see that goes on there and it pressurizes it and all the sand stays in here and it reclaims and I haven't had to refill this container yet and I've been using it for 20 years. I only use it for little stuff here and there. But uh, that 
is it, I think. Uh, I got the vacuum here. Works very nice. They're a little expensive and they take up a lot of room, but it works. And so now when I'm done, I have a piece of plastic that goes over there because I don't want to mess up the glass. Um, so now it, it can't get clouded and you, with the good lights in it and stuff, um, it just, it's a pleasure to use now. When you're done, you tighten these guys back down, it seals, and that is the end of it. With those improvements, I enjoy using it. It's not a pain. It's not annoying. It works very nice. That's it. Thank you.